see we got the nba standings up right now mm-hmm. honestly East to the west it's a lot of surprises yeah a lot of surprises yeah you know you got cleveland the second best team in the east who would have thought orlando's in hot. the play-in but you know they could continue to go up then you look at the west minnesota's second seed you know what i'm saying Who's the first? <clears throat> you see that? The Lakers are back in the play. I mean, we are <laughs> Oklahoma City basketball. We're so back, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're so back. We're so back. You know, I didn't think our turnaround would be this good as impressive y'all downfall is. Downfall? Yeah. Downfall. You're in the same position as last year. Yeah, and it's just not going to happen like it did last year. <laughs> okay. Woo! Juice, you know, at the start of the season, I knew we'd be better than y'all. And That's well, not, like, much. That's, that, that's not going to take a lot to do. Wait, but y'all were just in the NBA Finals, Justin? We are literally, I've been saying this But y'all were just in the NBA Finals, I've been though. saying this for years. We're the definition of mid, but we can be Better, be, but Pat Riley won't make us better. Why Only you, trade was Terry Rozier. Pat Riley's doing as much as he can with what he has. That's not. I as don't much as you know can. the problem is he's not doing as much. No as one can. wants to play with y'all, and that's a shame because y'all are in Miami, bro. No one wants to play. Y'all haven't got a good free agent since LeBron. We're talking about free agents. Yes. We're talking about free agents. A sign and trade with Jimmy Butler does not count. Everybody else, you haven't got a good free agent since LeBron. Who's who's y'all's last good free agent? We don't need one. Clearly, we drafted good. <laughs> we we drafted good. Your <laughs> Look best at us. Player, your best player you traded for. A sign and trade. <laughs> well, not a sign and trade. We traded. We traded. We traded because just we traded a guy who we knew couldn't get the job done for us. Maybe that's what y'all need to do. Say gonna get the job done. <laughs> we'll find out. I've been trying to trade Hero for 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 past three years now. But who are you going to get for Hero, bro? We could have got Donovan for Hero. Not straight up. Obviously not straight up. Especially not now. How they're playing. 14-1 and one in their last 15 games. 9-1 yeah. and one in the last 10. Yeah. yeah. He's off the books. Something like that. But hey, man. We're looking at this. This is the middle. It's basically all star break. Might as well say a little that. over halfway. A little, little. Yeah, teams played around fifty games now. So we're looking at these teams. So we're looking at who's. Well, let's look at the teams that's outside looking into the playing tournament. You know what I'm saying? So Brooklyn. Well, how do you feel about? Well, obviously not these three teams. Toronto and the Nets. No. Toronto is not too far off from the tough seed. No. After the Siakam trade, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nets, two, only two games back. See, the Nets are weird. They they show up some nights, obviously, 12 and 14 at home and 8 and 15 on the road. Mm-hmm. They show up some nights. Some nights they don't. I, I don't think they have enough star power. Mm. Um, they got, you know, Cam Thomas playing well. Uh, Lonnie Walker was, but he just got hurt again. Ben Simmons just came back mm-hmm. and playing decent. Mm-hmm. Um, like, they have, like, this. they're the same Nets team who, like, made, like, the eighth seed in the bubble or something, something like that. Or, or they were trying to make the playoffs in the bubble. They're the same Nets team as that year. They have a lot of guys who would fit really good on different teams as a role player. So this is just a team full of role players. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Atlanta, they are the tenth seed. I think they are going to drop. I think the Nets what? go up. I think the Nets go up 
over the Hawks because I think the Hawks are going to trade DeJounte. I think they'll get valuable assets back. Not enough to, I don't know, not enough for a splash, maybe. Because Trey is, I think, I don't think he's playing the best basketball of his career. He is. Best basketball of his career, I think Capella's gone. DeJounte's gone. I don't think anybody's going to take on Capella. Sadiq, they, I think the Hawks are going to make, I'm just going to just rebuild, go rebuild. I would love a Capella on my team, though. I'm not going to lie. We need to have a chat. We need a backup big and come off the bench. Okay. The Bulls, Levine out for the season. I don't think he's yeah. that much of a factor anyway. Dang, I really want to see if he got traded, though. It's unfortunate. They was talking with the Pistons, and all of a sudden, <laughs> he decides to get out for the rest of the I don't know why the Pistons would get... See, this is why they're at the bottom. Yeah, the this is Pistons. exactly why they're at the bottom. <laughs> the fact that the Bulls were even listening. It's, that's crazy, because what was you going to get out of them? I mean, as long as they got someone young, I guess. They was not. They wasn't giving up the, the that that Thompson twin. I think they was asking oh. for him. Uh, well, that's why they're at the bottom because they want Zach Levine to save them. You got us at eight. Honestly, our ceiling is like if if we don't make a trade, this team right now, our ceiling is the six seed. That's our ceiling. But sure, our floor is out the probably playoffs. this. No, out the playoffs. Ha! Huh? Okay. It's y'all four. Anyways. <laughs> uh, we've been real bad offensively. Like, really bad offensively. Defense, mm-hmm. we've always... Here's a stat. The last three games we've played, we've held teams 10 points under their average. It's just we can't score. That's mm-hmm. all it is. But we, you probably, as a Heat... Or at you know if you're the Heat, you can't get any worse than this. Honestly, I think so. You can't get any worse than this. The Magic started strong, started now. real strong, cooled off a little bit. They're on the a three-game really win streak. Long. They're on a three-game win streak right now. Yeah, went on the road. Okay, yeah, that's true. Indiana they, just got Haskell, Siakam. I didn't really like the dynamics of the trade. I'm not gonna lie. I just didn't fit. I don't think he fits the way they play, fast pace. Um, honestly, it's going to be an adjustment for him, but I think yeah, Tyrese once, yeah, once Tyrese comes back, um, I think the team just needs a lot of games together. Um, once Tyrese gets healthy, um, obviously an All Star starter this year, um, so they have a nice core though, and um. Some of their benches building, like Aaron Neesmith is playing great um, so far. And obviously, Benedict Maffern, their second-year player, is playing good this season. Um, obviously, they still have Miles Turner, Buddy Hill, and the crew. So, I think they could be a scary team, especially if they play that third seed that I see right now. And they've been given a run for their money. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. East is wide open. It's up there. The it, East this is, is this is Boston year to dominate, but they're probably not because Philly about to drop. Yeah, Joel is out. Beat. He's out for what a month or two? A month. He's out for a month. Philly's At least a month. Pacers figuring it out. Knicks look really good. The Knicks. The Knicks are back. I look at this very moment. The Knicks are playing the best basketball in the East right now. I'd say so. At least. Yeah. I'd say so. Bucks, I don't think they're as good as their record shows. No, obviously. The Bucks are not as good as their record shows. Five and five, the last ten. They're, they're just... One and three with Doc Rivers. One and three with Doc. I don't know why they got Doc of all people. <laughs> like, they're just... Come playoff time, I just don't see them as a threat. Dame is still not playing well. But he's an all-star starter. Over Trey. Oh, hey, man, that's crazy. Uh, Cleveland playing their best basketball right now. I don't know where it came from. I ain't going to lie. I didn't even know that Cleveland was hot until I saw it like, last night. They were like 14-1 their last couple games. Or last 15. So I was like, dang. 
Yeah. But Boston, I think Boston's on fraud watch again. Not fraud quite a lot. watch. I, I, the Boston is on fraud watch once again. Because Boston and Joe Missoula continue to play down to competition. They continue to play down to teams they should be blowing out. Like last night, they were playing the the the, the uh, Grizzlies. The Grizzlies, I think, had like twelve players out last night. And they booed them out. They won by forty though. Eventually, yeah. but I'm talking, <laughs> or as they say, it started off. It was like what a how many? It was still a decent game by halftime. Yeah, they they just play. They always end up playing with their food, and it's gonna cost them. It's gonna cost them. Yeah, like us. You feel me? So, as right now, they're the first seed with the eighth seed. Playoffs ended right now. So, what team in the East do you think needs to make a big trade in, in order to, like, go and go, up, go, to the next, the next go to the next level? The Knicks did that trade. They're at the next level. Okay. Indiana, they did the trade. I think they have to get to that level. They have to get there. But I think they can. But if we're talking about going to a championship, having a championship run, that trade. Cleveland. Okay. Cleveland. If I can figure out how to get a a star, not a, a DeJounte Murray. Next to Donovan Mitchell. What are you going to do with Darius Garland? I don't think you'd have to give up too much for... You wouldn't, but... Like, DeJounte would have, have to, to come off the bench. Garland. Garland off the bench is bad? So DeJounte would. Is Garland off the bench a bad thing? Why would you put Garland on the bench? No, I'm saying, if you, come, if you get him off the bench, is that a bad thing? Instead of DeJounte Murray on the bench? I'm starting Garland still. Really? Yes. I don't know. I feel like Cleveland, they're already playing well. You go get you another star, maybe we can have a conversation. But <clears throat> I was just saying that. I was just saying that to not be biased. Obviously, I was going to say the Heat. But... Uh, For me, I think it's Philly. No Embiid now. They're going to need people... Pull their weight. Yeah, they got Tobias, Maxi, Uber's playing all right in the season. Mm. I think they need a little bit more guard help. I heard Tyus Jones went on the block as a good role player. That's solid. Mm. Um, but for them, why not try to bring in D and playing Billy. well, another scoring guard option for them. D'Lo and Max trying to shop for the Lakers. Yeah, I don't know about D'Anthony Melton as that. You know, that too. they need another score. I mean, D'Lo, D'Lo Maxi. You probably keep oh, Ubre, or maybe the Lakers want Ubre. Probably give him up. Tobias Harris, hold it down until when B comes back fully healthy. Mm. It's a solid team. Mm. Mm. Solid team right there. That is tough. That's interesting. But, hey, we got to move on to that West. Let's move on to the West. West is getting a little bumpy outside. It's getting un- As always. So, we're not going to talk about the Spurs, Portland, or Memphis. You know, I almost said the Warriors. Warriors are not... Making the playoffs. Yeah. Hey. I think they. I think they won't. I don't think they're gonna make a play. Yeah. I think they make the play. As long as Clay's on that roster, they're not making a play. <laughs> I'm not about to lie. I think as long as Steph Curry's on that roster, they're making a play. 
Steph just had 60 and lost. That is true. You can't but do still. it all yourself. I like Kaminga, though. Kaminga hooping. Kaminga's playing well. Kaminga been hooping. But I feel like you have to bench Clay for Kaminga to start. Maybe. I think you bench Clay for Kaminga to start. What's the what's the rookie? Uh, you talking about Brandon? Yeah. A white boy or? White cuz. He can shoot. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah, I don't know yeah, his last yeah. name. Pose yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. That's, I knew his name. I just didn't know how to say it. So I was like, yeah. But you start Steph, him, Kaminga. You have been starting him a little bit. Draymond. Just move Clay to the bench. And I think no, they Clay's can make a Clay's ego's not going to allow that. That's the thing. So, words are stuck. And they're paying Clay. This is last season on his contract. Not paying Clay. Who are they paying? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this I mean, is last this season. is last season. Clay's going to want a contract. Get rid of him or bench him. He's going to want some money. So that'll be interesting this offseason now. Get rid of him or bench him. Or you're not going anywhere near the play-in, let alone the playoffs. So, as of right now, it's not looking good for Golden State. The Rockets, you may Udoka kind of, I mean. They're better than what I guess people anticipated. Only three games behind five. Can't win on the road, huh? Five and seventeen on the road. Yeah, big eighteen and nine is great. Just five and seventeen is just worse, <laughs> completely worse. <sighs> Cannot win on the road. But Jazz, I don't think nobody cares about them. Yeah, it's, uh, Lakers. Every time we look up, somebody's hurt. Yeah, it's, Jerry it's, it's finally not now. AD and LeBron though. It's not AD and LeBron. It's just their their the supporting cast. Every time we look up, hurt. Gabe Vincent. They're throwing him in trade talks. Cam Reddish. I've heard him in trade talks. He's throwing everybody in there. Except everybody that's not LeBron and AD is in trade talks. Basically, and Austin Reeves. Who's starting to play good too? Dio has been playing good as well. Dio, Austin Reeves. Uh... Dallas is Luka. Is still having an MVP caliber season. Luka, Kyrie just came been, back. I would say Kyrie been out. I think that's the main reason. They're talking about a Grant Hill, Bobby Porter swap with Milwaukee. Grant Hill? Grant Williams. Grant, Grant Williams. Williams. And uh, Bobby Porter swap. That could be interesting. That would be interesting. I also seen them trying I to get Andrew Bobby Wiggins. Can... Hmm? I also seen Dallas trying to get Andrew Wiggins. Yeah. I think that would be nice for them. Shoot, they can get both. I think Bobby. I think nobody on that Mavericks really is that energy. Like you can feed off of. Right, Williams tries. <laughs> tries. Not like Bobby Portis. True. If they if Milwaukee trades Bobby Portis, they for they are frauds. If Milwaukee trades Bobby Portis, that's the energy. They not gonna have no bench. Not Thanos. Look at him. Look at him. He, he even say his name right. Thonis. Thanasis? Nah, Crazy. Thonis. <laughs> he's going to be a superstar. Nah, you trade Thanasis. I think Thanasis, the Knicks was trying to get Thanasis. <laughs> so they're trying to get Giannis. <laughs> Facts. Uh, uh, Phoenix Pelicans. catching up. Pelicans is all right. You got to talk about the hottest team, though, in the West. The Clippers. The Clips, man. The Clippers, man. They, they 26 got 26 and 5. Clippers Since December first, chance twenty six and five. Do you think they should be the favorites to win the title right now? The Clippers, out of any team right now, yeah, yeah. Tim- Timberwolves look very good. It's the Rudy Gobert effect. <laughs> <laughs> the- Let's be real here. The Jazz, the Rudy Gobert era. We're at the top of the West for a long time. Are the you playoffs really crediting fold. all their work to Rudy Gobert? No, I'm just saying it's the Rudy Gobert effect. It's the Rudy Gobert It's effect. the Anthony Edwards development effect. That too, yeah. Looking like baby Jordan. But you can't just ignore the fact that Rudy Gobert. Nah, every he's team he's been on, they've been the top three seed. Nah, he, he's always been a good defender. My, well, good paint defender. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's like, nah, it's not because of Rudy Gobert, but 
I just don't see Minnesota having that big of a moment, and it matters. When it matters, in the playoffs. Same with the Thunder. Good team. Better They're not going to make a run. Um, I mean, We'll see. You think y'all make a we'll run? We'll see. I just think we need... If y'all play, probably, it's probably not going to happen, but there's a trade out there that I like. If y'all play the Mavericks, y'all beating them? First seed. They're, they're the AC. They, they play all. Luka's they scary. If we... Well, there's no such thing as don't piss off Luka. Luka and, but you know, I might have a chance. I don't, I don't think they can guard us. As a whole. We're deep. We're we're deeper than a lot of teams think. We're one of the best three y'all, y'all are. teams. Y'all are. Uh, one of the best benches, like I just said. Yeah. Uh, one of the best Luka. defensive teams. Y'all the like, highest scoring team in the, in the league or the West. We are the highest scoring team in the West. That's probably why we're first. Mm-hmm. Um, we're only giving up 112. Um, I think, like I said, I think with us, we need we need some big boys because Minnesota got some big boys mm-hmm. and Denver got some big boys down there. Well, mm-hmm. Denver got the big boy mm-hmm. down there. Uh, there's a trade. I mean, y'all may laugh, but I like Andre Drummond on our roster because not bad. He's been playing well. He we need a backup center mm-hmm. who can rebound and be like an enforcer type role. I think he would be great for our team, but you know the Bulls are super stingy. Obviously, you probably would ask like six first round picks for them for Andre Drummond. You see what they asking for Caruso? It's crazy. Yep. Um, I also seen a trade talks with us trying to get. Maybe Laurie Marginen. I mean, he's all right. Uh, he would just be another person we would have to share the ball with mm-hmm. on a team already. I mean, we're good at sharing the ball, obviously, because we got we got so many weapons. We got Shea, obviously, MVP candidate, by the way, top three. Um, yeah. We have Giddy, who passes the ball, moves it, gets his little 15 a game. We have J-Dub coming along. Chat, like I said last year, y'all, I tried to tell y'all we would be a – I didn't think we'd be this good, but I thought we'd be really, you know, like fifth, sixth seed Make when Ch- when Chet would come back last year. Um, Off the bench, we got Trey Mann. We got a lot of players coming off the bench and producing. Isaiah Joe, like a lot, all of them can, like, come off the bench, shoot threes. And that's what you do in today's NBA. As long as you can hit threes and play some defense, you get some time. Mm-hmm. There's some time out there, but like I said, for us, I, we need a big man. We're gonna need a big man eventually. Yeah. So if we don't, if we don't get that in the play, I mean, before the playoffs, I, I can see your point. We won't go far. We're probably losing the second round. Mm-hmm. I think we can get one ro- one round win though. So uh, the Thunder is the team that you think we need to trade to make a, uh, make a splash. To, to if we want to go to the the Western Conference Finals. What's the conference final? Because if you want to be honest, I'm not going to be honest. I'm not worried about the Clippers yet. Hmm? I'm not worried about the Clippers yet. You're not worried? I'm not worried about them yet. That's fine. What? I, I got to see. I said this last year, bro. It was on the record. We watched our old podcast. We talked about James Harden. He was playing good. And then the playoffs came around. Yeah, it's the but- same spill every season. Yeah. It's going to happen again eventually. But he have does a... have Kawhi Leonard this time, who is notorious for playing good in the playoffs. So and You also have Paul George, too. He's been on my team. We saw what he's done in the playoffs. Don't get me started with him. So, playoff P. Two, two labeled playoff chokers on the same team? Yeah, exactly. We'll see how that goes in the playoffs. <sighs> I'm not worried about them. Some people are not going to like that. Believe it or not, the only team I'm worried about is the Lakers and the Nuggets. You did not say Lakers. Believe it or not. You did not say the Lakers, bro. <laughs> this is the Lakers. You can't be serious. AD, it's, he was my defensive player of the year award pick. Assuming I think, you're talking about a healthy Lakers. Obviously, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If we're talking about a healthy Lakers. I just feel like any team with a dominant big man, you know, could give us a run for our money. 
the Timberwolves, we, me and, like, they beat us. We beat them. Could be back and forth, but obviously we wouldn't play each other until, like, the third round if standing state like this. Mm. So, I mean, we probably won't see them in the playoffs, but it would be interesting if we played. Yeah. I'm thinking we – I don't think we finished first, though. I'd probably say we finished second or third. Um, and I could probably see us playing the Kings first round or the Pelicans or shoot, maybe the Lakers. See, that's the thing. Real quick for our, I know. think we beat the Kings and Pelicans. That's, that was, I was about to say, I think the Kings are the team in the West that just need to make a trade for a guy to help them move forward. Like they need the the Kings can be way better than what they are. They just don't have that, that guy. That can really score next to De'Aaron. They got Malik Monk off the bench, a little bit inconsistent. Keegan Keegan Murray, lights out shooter. I would look to trade Herder. I look to trade Herder, get you a, a a bucket getter that can start, that's consistent. Jordan Poole. Good nigga, I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. <laughs> Man, what? I just need. I just think the guy, the to Kings, lead, need that guy that in the playoffs you can rely on to hit a shot. That's that's really the name. That's really it. I feel like everybody, everybody in the West has that guy that's not their best player that can hit a shot when it when it counts. Nah. Well, not everybody in the West. Well, I, I say the top six. Top six has that guy. And so, Dallas. Hmm? Are you talking about outside of superstars? Outside of the superstars. Oh, oh, yeah. The top six has Utah, that guy they, they that don't can really hit have a shot. A like, y'all superstar. y'all got J-Dub. Yeah. He could, he, outside of Shea, he could hit that shot. Yeah. Timberwolves, Cat can hit that shot if Anthony Edwards isn't, you know. Yeah, the Clippers got four. Now, Clippers got so. three, four players that can hit that <laughs> shot. Denver, Jamal Murray can hit that shot. Sacramento, Michael Porter. You giving the ball to to, to Sabonis for the game? If De'Aaron Fox is doubled, you giving the ball to Sabonis for the game? No, no, I ain't give no. Nah. And then Phoenix, obviously, we know who Phoenix has, but they're catching hot too. They're catching hot. They start off real slow. Bradley Beal came back. That's when you know. That's when we started to see the difference. Mm-hmm. Sacramento just has to make that trade. They got to get a guy. But yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. Yes, sir. Who's on pace for the finals right now? Who's on pace? I say as of right now. This is going to shock a lot of people. Please don't say it. This is going to shock a lot of people. I got the Clippers beating the Knicks. I knew you would say the Knicks. Yeah. Oh, brother. In the NBA Finals. (sighs) The Knicks are going to once again... Be the Knicks eventually. Even though I like Jalen Brunson. Obviously, we have the same name. So, I think they win a series, though. I think they win a playoff series. Mm. But they still got Julius Randle. So. That's true. <laughs> um, That's true. It's just nah. And Tom Thibodeau, you know, runs his starters into the grounds with all the minutes they play in the regular season. Yeah. So, we'll see. You want to? All right. So, so, my hot take would be us, obviously. Versus, but if I said that though. versus Boston, I think the Celtics would beat us though. Get mopped. But your reality, bench would have to beat their bench every night, and that's easily because their bench is not that good. It would have to really come down to how good a defense are the Celtics playing on Shea and Chet and them. Well, Drew, come playoff time, has no offense. So, you know. <laughs> and Jason Tatum in the big moment. 
reality at all? Hmm. Two thousand years later. Two thousand years later. I, I think it's gonna be Phoenix and Boston. What? I don't know about Phoenix. Not having a bench is gonna catch up to them. I just feel like, I feel like as uh, as long as Phoenix doesn't run into Denver, if Denver somehow gets beaten before Phoenix. <laughs> I think Phoenix can win. I, I think Denver's the only team who can give Phoenix a run for their money come playoff time. That's tough. That's tough. And man. you already know how I feel about the Clippers. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tough, man. Y'all let us know what y'all think down below, man. Where's your team? Where's your team rank? And what does your team need to do to get back on track? Let's say that. Let us know down below. <laughs> Hit that like, comment, subscribe. You already know what to do. Turn the post notices on. Roll to 1K. Almost there. Help us get there, man. Y'all will be greatly, greatly appreciated. But until the next video, it's your boys, Juice and Lou. And we out of here. Peace.